I drink like a hundred iced macchiatos a day and practically nothing else. Wow. There's a really cool coffee place, Jitters, at the Steamtown Mall. You ever been there? No. You've never been to Jitters? No. Ryan, you are so dorky. Give me your number so I can text you. Um. Come on. Can I have an email address? Leave that off, but I just thought you should know. Mm -hmm. I think something a little fishy is going on. A little fishy? Yeah. I mean, I've been noticing him all day. I just think it might be... That little girl is a child. I don't want to see you sniffing around her anymore this afternoon. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Boy, have you lost your mind, because no, no, no. I'll help you sir. find it. What you're looking for? Ain't nobody going to help you out there. Jesus can come through that door, and he's not going to help you if you don't stop sniffing after my child. Okay. Stanley yelled at me today. That was one of the most frightening experiences of my life. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. Because they're acting all tough and everything, uh -huh. but what they were rapping about was cupcakes, the Chronicles of Narnia. Mm -hmm. God, who invented cupcakes, right? Um, I want to kill Hey, them. hey, hey, Phyllis, what are you doing? I'm just saying hi to Bob. No, I think you're cutting in line. Well, settle down, Scott. No, I'm not going to uh -uh. settle down. No way. Uh uh. Get mm -mm. in the back, please. Boo. 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 Back in line. Thank you. That's right. Mm -hmm. What a pair of Marys. This is pretzel day. There you are. I don't think we have finished with my inbox. What's Scott's tot? <laughs> <laughs> Has it really been 10 years? <laughs> Local businessman pledges college tuition to third graders. <laughs> yes, I have a dream, and it's not some MLK dream for equality. I want to own a decommissioned lighthouse, and I want to live at the top, and nobody knows I live there. And there's a button that I can press and launch that lighthouse into space. Any suggestions? Yes, Andy. What if we changed our outgoing answering machine message so it just had a little more zing and a little more pep? Zing and pep. See, that's, those are the kind of words we're looking for. Yes, Jim. What about if we did an even newer voicemail message that had even more zing and pep? Now we're cooking. I like this. Maybe a whole theme, like a rap, a rap rhyme. Like an urban thing. An urban, yeah. Stanley, you want to help us out with that? Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do, having a little Leave brain, me alone, we're damn having it. a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? Good. This is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. Hey, Jim. Stanley's back from the hospital today. Can you sign his card? Oh, great. Glad they didn't mix up your tonsillectomy with a mustacheectomy. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, because your jokes are all hilarious. It's nice. It's funny. It mentions his tonsillectomy and makes a funny little joke about his mustache. Stanley doesn't have a mustache. Yeah, he does. Pam, hit the brakes. Stanley does not have a mustache. I misspoke. I'm not sure. I think he has one, now that, I think he has a mustache. Okay, Phyllis sits across from him every day. Phyllis, does he have a mustache or not? Oh, I don't know, um, now I think he doesn't. Phyllis, what are you talking, the whole card depends on this. Okay, the man has worked here for 25 years. How can none of us picture his face? Because we come here to do our jobs. We don't stick our noses in other people's business. Okay, which one of these looks more right? Neither of those looks like any person that has ever existed or been dreamt of in the history of human insanity. That said, the one on the left. Guys, that's the elevator. What if it's him? Okay, quick. Who says mustache? Yep. Who says no mustache? Ah! Hey! Oh, he does uh, have yes. one. <laughs> Welcome back, Stanley. Stanley! You crush your wife during sex and your heart sucks. Boom, roasted. Oscar, you are... <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> you're gay. 
Wow. Andy Cornell Call, they think you suck. <laughs> and you're gayer than Oscar. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kind of badass, right? Just seems kind of crazy in a way I might need right now. I don't know. Oh, that's not yours. Stanley just drank OJ out of my mug and didn't seem to realize that it wasn't his hot coffee. So the question has to be asked, is there no limit to what he won't notice? What's a seven-letter word for purse? Satchel. No, starts with an H. Handbag. Hmm, thank you. All right, everybody, take a seat. As you may have heard, our branch on the planet Jupiter is up 8,000% in sales. Yeah. Hold up. My clock is slow. It is 5 o'clock. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, Stanley. Love you. So long, Stanley. Good night, everybody. Do they bring in food, or do you get to go out? Or... No, they, they, they bring it in. You lucky son of a bitch. I have been trying to get on jury duty every single year since I was 18 years old. To get to go sit in an air-conditioned room downtown, judging people while my lunch was paid for, that is the life. Oh, okay. Oh. What is this, a, a meatball? Really? <laughs> it's always more fun to mess with Dwight with an audience. That was usually Pam. So now that she's out, I had to find someone else. Turns out that Stanley is quite the comedy fan. But not everything makes him laugh. He has very specific tastes. Through a painstaking process of trial and error, I found out what he likes. And it's really weird. Jim, come on. So juvenile. What the? You've been meatballed. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for some meatball? Oh, man. <laughs> this is not very clever, Jim. I know. <laughs> Look for your stapler. <laughs> really, Jim? Really? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay, good day. What's a haul? 32 meatballs. Good day. <laughs> that idiot's been feeding us for a week. We'll never have to buy meatballs again. Very simple, there are only three rules. You must not touch the ground, you must not step outside of the ring, and you must always wear the safety mittens. Uh, we don't have any mittens. safety mittens. Probably left them in the trunk of my car. It's all right, it's all right, here we go. Get him, big boy. And go! Come on, Jim! Yeah! Oh, what are you doing? Come on! Ah. Sorry about that. It's all about taking points away from Dwight. Yeah, no, good. Okay. Oh my God. I have never seen that look in a man's eyes, ever. I thought that I might die on beach day.